Welcome to Chemistry 2000. My name is Bill Miller. I'll be your instructor this semester. I'll get to see you on uh, Tuesday, January 24th at 5 p.m. for our lab time. But I wanted to create a welcome video to give you a couple aspects of the class which we started between now and then. Let me share my screen. Now, this is the Canvas site for Chem 2000. And you can see right away that it has office hours uh, with Zoom links. And in fact, uh, I'm going to update this Tuesday office hours to also include Zoom links as well. Uh, I am always at my office hours. Uh, please come to them. Please ask as many questions as you would like. Here's the required textbook for the class. It's a Libre text. And if you go there, you'll see all the information you'll need about all the chapters. I encourage you to read over this. Uh, before, during, or after the material that we're covering each week. And you'll see we very much follow it uh, from one all the way through 16. We don't actually cover 17, just a heads up. And uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, lecture and recitation are online asynchronous. That means there are no class meetings for this portion. And you'll be doing all the work on your home, on your own, at home. Lab is in person, 5 to 8.30 p.m. Tuesdays. I look forward to seeing you there tomorrow on the 24th of January. Um, let's go on to the modules page. And this is what the modules page looks like to me. Uh, I'm going to adjust it so that we can see the student view. I think. There we go. And in student view, you'll see some uh, Canvas start here, and then a Chem 2000 start here with information about the class. Uh, there's, uh, then we hit week one. Week one, this uh, is just an introduction uh, to get you started with a chemist, or uh, yes, mostly chemists or some chemical engineers as well, some other engineers too, possibly. And uh, overview and learning outcomes and Oh, so there's nothing to do for this week one. It's just to go look at it and check it off your to-do list. Then the big thing that you're doing this week is lecture outline one and lecture outline two. Lecture week one is heavy on the lecture outline. What you'll do is, um, well, you should have more attempts than this. Well, you, you, I'll give you more attempts. Um, you're going to uh, download at the bottom here a set of bare lecture notes. And you'll see that they've got some, uh, what I call skeletal lecture notes. They've got some guides, but you're gonna be filling in all the different notes that you take while you watch these videos. So you'll start here. It'll take you to a YouTube link where you can watch a video of me doing the lecture outlines as if you were in lecture. And hopefully that'll uh, get a little more clear as we go. You'll take all the notes that I take. And let's see. Yep, here come some notes. And you'll keep all the notes. You'll listen to them. You will find out that some pages do ask you to write some things that are not written down. So please be aware of that. And you definitely want to take all the notes that I take. And um, and so sort of uh, you'll have the pages. You can write yourself on uh, printed pages. You can use a tablet and write with a stylus. Should you write the pages um, with on your own blank loose leaf sheets of paper, you're going to have to write all my notes that are already on the page. Sorry, all the notes that are already on the page and all the notes that are uh, put onto the page as well. And that's what you'll do. That's a third option for turning in lecture outline notes. So those are the lecture outlines. You'll see uh, there are a good bunch of them for the first week. And in fact, there's a second one due the next day. Should you turn these in during week one, a day or two late, I am fine with that. I'll just say that now. Uh, however, starting in week two, you will have to turn them in on time or you risk losing points. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself as do the following day, and then you'll see the homework. And the homework 
as um, problem numbers. You'll have, for example, the subject, which is draw the phases of matter. FIL means that it's a file upload problem. So you will actually answer the question. So let's take the quiz. It says draw and describe each of the three main phases of matter. And this is something, pictures and descriptions are covered in the first lecture. Your picture of the gas phase must include a measurement with a ruler of both the gas particle and the distance between particles. Since I say the gas particle, whatever size it is, they must be 10 diameters apart. So I will be looking for that to get your one point. You're going to write this on a page piece of paper as if you're going to snap a picture of it as a PDF using the Adobe Scan or, uh, let's see, using Adobe Scan or Cam Scanner app. So Adobe Scan instructions. So this is under Chem 2000 start here. How to create a PDF and submit it for a homework question. This actually works the same for uh, submitting lecture outlines too. And those have to be submitted as PDFs as well. A single PDF for at least 10 pages per one PDF. If you submit one PDF at a time, I have to click and scroll, click and download each of those and it takes me forever. Starting in week two, you will start losing points unless it's a single PDF where each PDF is at least 10 pages. Um, anyway, here's the instructions. You can use the Adobe Scan app and upload it. Uh, other students also use the Cam Scanner app. Both of these are free apps. That's a file upload problem. There are also multiple choice. There are SIBs, which are fill in the blank. There are uh, numerical answer ones. Some of them have tutorial videos as well. And the tutorial video will step you through one version of the question, since especially the num numerical answer ones have many versions of each of the problems. Um, asterisks, you'll see uh, homework 01 PDF of your work. So any problem that has an asterisk after it, you will be required to upload your work as a single PDF. So make sure you're writing down the work. Now, uh, I have to be able to tell how you did the problem from your work for each of these asterisk ones. If it does not have an asterisk, then you do not have to show me your work. Um, and again, this has to be a single PDF for all of that work. Uh, yes. You can see we have a bunch of tutorial videos, a bunch of asterisk problems. SID plus is fill in the blank with more than one blank to fill in. And then you've got the textbook readings associated with this, some of the companion problem answer keys, and a quiz. And this quiz, check your knowledge, should not be worth any points. I'll fix that as well because it's a practice quiz. And then the cycle repeats in week two. You've got just a to-do list, check things to look at. Then you're going to have a lecture outline. These are much smaller, though, I will say that. Then a homework. Then uh, another quiz, which should be zero points, which I'll say. And some readings and some companion problem answers. That's a rough outline of how the class goes. Uh, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow and, and, and telling you much more about the class, including how lab works. And I, I will see you then.